Now, I want to mention uh, Paul Murray's chat uh, with the Prime Minister on his program last night. It was a fantastic interview, while the rest of the media were scrambling around talking about anonymous text messages or demanding apologies from the Prime Minister or asking him about the, the price of bread. I've got a funny item later in the program about the price of bread. Well, Paul got from the Prime Minister what is really his key pitch for the election, and that is the question, the proposition of whether you want to stick with Scott Morrison and the Coalition's strong economic management, strongly positioned economy, and the fact that they're standing up to China, or do you want to risk all that? with Anthony Albanese. But what I wanted to show you tonight was a a grab from that interview which didn't actually make it to air. And this is uh, Scott Morrison showing that he watches this program, listens to the arguments we put forward, and he wants to do the things that we've been talking about. Have a look at this. We'll be dealing with this now, I think, for some time into the future. Now it will change. And one of my key goals for this year, and I know Chris Kenny will like this, is to get us back to as normal as possible and working very hard on the international visitors coming back right now. I just want to be confident from our medical advisors that that won't create an unnecessary additional pressure on our hospitals. Well, that was great to hear, wasn't it? Not just because he hears the arguments we've been putting on this show, but because he understands that crucial priority of opening up this country. So it gave us hope. But less than a day later, that hope has been dashed because listen to what Prime Minister Scott Morrison has said today when it comes to the Western Australian border and Mark McGowan's hard border with the rest of the country. Well, I'm saying that's the Premier's call. That's what I'm saying. And he has to make that decision based on what he thinks um, his health system is ready to absorb. But at the end of the day, Mark McGowan's got to make that call and we've been supporting him. No, 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 no. Look, yes, we know Mark McGowan has to make the call. We know that the Prime Minister can't force him to open that border unless he takes him to the High Court. But at this stage, yes, it's the Premier's call, but it's the wrong call. And we need to see the Prime Minister saying that it's the wrong call. The medical and scientific arguments previously used to defend that border have fallen by the wayside. The economic arguments and social arguments, of course, were never there. They've fallen by the wayside as well. So Premier Mark McGowan is wrong and the Prime Minister didn't call him out on it. He needs to call him out on it. He's the Prime Minister of Australia. He should support no internal borders. He should support the abolition of that hard border in Western Australia. See, this is the problem in the West. No one's been game to disagree with Mark McGowan. Remember that last state election, he just wiped the floor. He obliterated the state Liberals because they wouldn't disagree with him. They were trying to be Mark McGowan light. If he's wrong, say that he's wrong. It's the only hope in this country. We need politicians who actually make the argument that is right, that's the right thing for the country, not try and second-guess the politics.